Okay, so despite the most recent news that the UK is heading into its third lockdown, if I didn't laugh, I'll cry. I thought the best way to go about this was just to kind of carry on content as usual on my channel because there is absolutely nothing about this entire situation that is normal. So the least I can do is try and give you guys the slightest bit of normality that you know we all deserve right about now. Moving on, you may notice that I do have a face of makeup on apart from my brows. They are looking a little bit crazy. I did dye them this morning so they are a little bit darker than they are naturally. But nonetheless, as you can tell by the title, the video I'm bringing to you guys today is testing out the brow product that broke the internet their words not mine which is the wb co soap brows i have heard a lot of people rave about this and on their website they do literally call it the brow soap that broke the internet so i thought might as well see what the hype is all about so the other thing that drew me to this was the fact that i mean obviously you can see it comes in a cardboard box and it actually comes with i've opened it at the wrong end a bamboo spoolie so there's no plastic now i'm not entirely sure what this little case is made out of but i'm assuming it's like tin or something i don't actually think it's plastic which means that this entire little package is plastic free i know for a fact that they are vegan and cruelty free and they are very much ethically made all the ingredients ethically sourced so so far without even having tried the product first impressions are spot on the lid comes all the way off and then on the inside it almost kind of looks like honey i am really really excited to try this product if you are eager to see what i have to say about it then make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up down below and make sure you keep watching <laughs> Right, so I have just read the instructions and it does say you actually need to wet the product using the WB Co Prep Mist. So instead, I'm just gonna use the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. So I'm just gonna... Do that, so it's a little bit moist. Okay, so I think I have a little bit of product on the spoolie, so I'm just gonna... Okay, wow, so we have movement. Okay, wow, so they are really sticking up. Right, I'm gonna move my mirror to this side. So I don't even really need to go in with my finger and kind of press them down in place because I mean, they look pretty stuck down to me. The worst thing about all brow gels I have ever tried is that kind of sticky residue that you get that's almost kind of like PVA glue and it just comes off in like strips. It was actually quite easy to remove though with just my little finger but then again it has taken off a little bit of foundation. However, I don't think it's noticeable but I really do actually quite like the way this has made my brows look. They do still feel a little bit kind of sticky at the moment. I'm just gonna wait for them to kind of dry down just so that we can then go in with an eyebrow pencil. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes and I think what I'm coming to realize is that they're not actually gonna dry down, which I don't think I'm mad about because a lot of brow products, when they dry down, they kind of go rock solid and your eyebrows just feel like hay just really coarse and uncomfortable, but these actually still feel like my eyebrows, but they don't feel like they're gonna budge, if that makes sense. It's a weird sensation. So I have here the HD brow pencil in the shade Foxy, um, and I'm just gonna fill in. Like I said, I've dyed my eyebrows, so they don't need so much filling in, but there are a couple of sparse parts that I just wanna grab. I also kind of feel like it's enhanced all the individual hairs of my brows, which I, I really, really like that look of the really kind of defined brow hairs. 
I can't lie, I think this may be the best my eyebrows have ever looked. Okay, so overall, I am really, really happy with this product. Obviously, we have the little bit of an issue of kind of it being a little bit sticky and gloopy above the brow. Totally easy to remove, but does take off a little bit of base makeup if you do it kind of that way around. But other than that, it has stuck my brows in place really nicely without making them feel kind of rock solid. Plus, so, so easy to put brow products on top of it. Plus, what's a bonus? Cardboard packaging, bamboo spoolie, doesn't come in a plastic tub, I don't think. Plus it's vegan and cruelty free. I definitely think this is gonna start to become kind of a regular in my daily routine. If you enjoyed this first impressions, then please don't hesitate to give this video a huge thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon for another video.